had an STD? Yes, she has. Doing drugs. She admitted to me that she has tried heroin. I want to have babies. By my 17th birthday, you're gonna be a grandma. We've never had a teen show like this. These girls completely broke down. You've never no. seen young teen girls like this. No. It's going to shock them to the core. Everyone, this is Tanya, and this is Tanya's daughter, Kayla. Now, today is Kayla's 16th birthday. Guess what? Guess what she wants for her birthday? A baby. <laughs> Kayla wants a baby. So instead of planning her daughter's sweet 16, sadly, Tanya's sitting here trying to stop her daughter from getting pregnant. Because not only is she determined to have a baby just to, quote, piss her mother off, that's why she wants a baby. Tanya expects that Kayla is giving oral sex to men on the highway. That she's that she has stolen her disabled father's medication to get high. And we've given Kayla a lie detector test. We're going to have the results for you in a moment. But first, she hitched hike to another town. Yes, she did. She went to her friend's house and was supposed to spend the night there and give to kids. You're a kid. She's had an STD? Yes, she has. And she's turning 16 to and she said her goal was what at 16? To have a baby. <laughs> baby. No way. And then she says she wants to move out. She wants to move out into a camper with no electricity and no running water. Oh, I heard this story. Here's the thing. Right now she's on birth control, right? She's on yes. The, she's on the shot. Her shot's only good for two more days and she says that she's not going to take it. Because she wants to have this baby. Right. She's going to take care of her baby, and you told us that she doesn't even know how to take a shower. Right. We fight with her son. We fight with her to get her to take a shower once a week. And she calls you terrible names. She calls you terrible names. Yes, she does. She calls me a dirty dumpster, and she calls me a maggot infest. Today's my 16th birthday, and you know what I want for a present? I want a baby. Pregnant, I'm moving out of my parents' house into my boyfriend's trailer, away from my crazy family. I'm on birth control, and it runs out in two days, and I can't wait. If I have a girl, her name's gonna be Destiny because it's my destiny to have a baby. If I have a boy, his name's gonna be Dominic. I've had sex seven times in one day. I've had sex in the snowbank, the river, and I don't care who sees me. Mom, I don't care what you say. I'm gonna have a baby. By my 17th birthday, you're gonna be a grandma. Bring him out. Here's Kale. You live in the great state of Maine. Yeah. In the wintertime, it's cold up there. Huh? And you want to move out of your house and live in a camper that has no electricity, no heat. Yeah. What's wrong with that? I've lived, I lived for like 10 years without electricity, running Look, water, any of it. Look, it's 75 degrees in here and you're going like this. So? I hear you want to have a baby. Yeah, I do. Nobody Kayla, can stop me. I hear you don't know, even know when to shower. Yeah, I do. You and your boyfriend? Yeah. You're determined to go off birth control. Yeah, I am. Nobody can stop me. I don't like it, and I'm not doing it, and nobody can make me. How about just stop doing sex? Nope. Why not? Because I like it. This seems like you, you, you got a wake-up call, and you, and you slip right past it. You've had an STD. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. It can make you not I be can able get to rid of babies. It. Buy a pill. Oh, really? Yeah. By the way, when you get pregnant and get your STD, then what do you think is going to happen? Then when my kid gets old enough, oh, I'll give me a pill. You know how dangerous that is. But I don't have the disease anyways. No, I know it's more. It's gone. Have you stopped having sex all over town? 
I've been with the same guy for a year. A I've been sleeping with him for a year. That's it. That's then it. He, then the um, STD come from. <laughs> Okay, Kayla. All right. No matter what happens today, you think that you're going to have a baby. Yeah. It is our job right now to convince you that on your 16th birthday, you walk out of here and you don't have anything to do with the baby. Oh, that ain't going to work. Oh, yeah? Oh, I got some surprises for you. I got a baby. I'm, I ain't nothing but 15 years old. And you think it's funny, but it's not funny. It's not. I can hardly take care of my baby by, by myself. I got to depend on my mama. You talking about living in a camper? <laughs> Your mama loves you. And I can see it in her face. It's not just about changing baby diaper. And you don't even want to get in the tub. And you talk about having a baby? They're not listening to your mother. Did you listen to your mother? No, I didn't listen to my mama. But if I listened to my mama, I think I would have a baby right now. I'd be up in school on honor roll running track. What do you think went wrong here? I think when her father left, um, she was just looking for attention and just went out and did what so things, she thought. So things, all of a sudden, when it's not a good home, you know, when things break up and there's stress and this and that, mm -hmm. how they act it out. Ain't you? Yeah. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. Somebody trying to touch you. Every day somebody trying to end you. Pull up in the road to rescue you. Pockets over where you're getting hefty. Coming for the king, that's a far cry. Come alive in the fall time. The competition you don't be missing. And the blue moon's fine, but the new edition.